I'm standing in the green pastures of Canada, and the lovely park right there is in the USA. And if those tents are a rockin', don't go a knockin'. This is where the good citizens of both countries meet for visits of goodwill and intimacy. It's a very friendly border here. One of the Canada-US border's most famous landmarks is the Peace Arch right down there at the Douglas Crossing. If you've ever driven south from Vancouver or north from Seattle, you'll recognize this big beauty. I always wondered what would happen if you avoided customs and walked right through the arch. Would the authorities swoop down and arrest you? Today we're going to find out. Stay tuned, friends. This is incredible. I'm standing right on the 49th parallel. Left foot in the States and right foot in Canada. It is an unusual experience being in two countries at the same time. In 1914, Washington State's Samuel Hill organized an international fundraising drive to build the arch, and he got England's famous architect, H.W. Corbett, to design it. Construction started in 1920 with 3,000 sacks of concrete that took half a year to set, plus reinforced steel. It's considered to be one of North America's first earthquake-resistant structures. And 100 years ago, September 6, 1921, there was a big opening ceremony right here. 15,000 people from both countries crowded around the arch for the opening ceremony. A Canadian band played the American National Anthem and an American band played God Save the King. The newspaper said the ceremony ended with fireworks and a rush of good cheer. One of the great events of the century, they said. Construction of the arch began as the Spanish flu pandemic was ending, and its 100th anniversary will come just as COVID is ending, hopefully. There are rumors of a time capsule inside the arch. I wonder what's in there. Today the border is closed for COVID. Usually there's a long lineup of cars waiting to get through customs. Today though the road is pretty much empty. But when it reopens, is there a way to avoid the queue? What would happen if you just walked right through the Peace Arch and didn't go through customs? Let's go try. All right, we got a brave volunteer here who's going to walk through the arch to find out what happens. Go ahead. There he goes. Look at him. Bouncing his step. He's cocky. He's walking north. He's leaving the United States and heading into Canada, so I'm not sure who the authorities would be that would arrest him. RCMP or border security staff, I guess. I think he's as doomed as doomed can be, ladies and gentlemen. You can't just walk across a border without some kind of repercussions. He's gone. He's gone and they got him. Never to be seen or heard from again. Oh, he was a brave. He's back. He's back, so... There you have it. You're free just to walk across the Canada-U.S. border and back anytime you want, I guess. No problem at all. And here he is. Oh, he's a, he's a good-looking son of a gun. Top of the arch there says, Children of a Common Mother. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Before the COVID shut things down here, more than 500,000 visitors a year come by to check out this 67-foot monument. I read they give it a thorough cleaning in anticipation of the 100th anniversary party. Ooh, what's this here? May these gates never be closed, it says. And you know, in 100 years, I don't think they ever were. Canadians and Americans, the best of buddies. Well, it turns out... Nobody seems to be watching. We can just freely walk from side to side here. Nobody cares. From British Columbia to Washington State in about two and a half steps. Incredible. And that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed this little taste of the old Canada-U.S. border as she once was. Thank you for watching. Please tap that good subscribe button one time. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver, and until next time, be good to the other.